Hello, once again, YouTube land. It's Tiffany. Um, this is my outfit of the week. And let me show you why. Oh, and the shoes, too. Look. Outfit shoes. Yes, boots. Knee-high boots. Now, let me explain to all the girls out there that are in chairs why this is so important. I don't know about where you live, but where I live, it is very, very cold. So instead of having to throw on sweats and tights and pulling your pulling your stockings up really high, you can wear these boots. Because guess what? Not only are they really sexy, but they also can keep your legs warm. So that's two for one. Okay, and also the dress. Let me explain to you, here's another tip that I have found over the years, how to accentuate what you do have. Because of the fact that we're always sitting down, a lot of the times uh, our bodies don't look as curvy, I guess. So what's important is to buy a dress, like say you're going to buy a dress, you want to buy something that's very tight fitting up here, a little bit flowy down there. Because what happens is that it actually gives your body an hourglass shape. And we as women, that's pretty much what we want. Okay. Now, here's what I want to talk about this week. How to date or what to do or what not to do while dating a woman in a wheelchair. Why would you want to date a woman in a wheelchair? Why would you not want to date a woman in a wheelchair? I mean, they're beautiful. They're, uh, uh, well, the, the women that I've met, are very kind they have great personalities they're just some of them might be a little but I mean as far as I the women that I have met they're just beautiful amazing women so why would you not want to date a woman in a wheelchair I have absolutely no idea that's I just don't even get it so anyway so why wouldn't you want to date a woman in a chair basically that's what I'm trying to say okay tip number one when you are going to approach a woman in a wheelchair, and these are from my own personal experiences, because that's all that's that's really the only experience that I can speak from. I can't speak for other women. I'm talking about these are things that I have dealt with. Number one, don't. Okay. I have been, let's say, in the supermarket at the checkout counter, and I've had men come up to me and tell me that they like my wheelchair because it's very sexy. Now, that's kind of nice, but at the same time, kind of creepy. Because wheelchairs themselves, I haven't really felt are really sexy. Maybe the women in the wheelchairs are sexy, but just a comment like that just seems kind of like, mm, I don't really like it. The best approach is to treat a woman in a wheelchair like you would treat any other woman. And from what I have found, what I respond to the best is say, open, open it with something funny. Say something funny. I mean, you're sick, you know, there's millions of things in the world that you could say. Start with a line that's going to be charming or funny. Or you could also compliment her on something. Uh, preferably something that's not really real. Like, you don't really want to do the creep factor. So really don't try to be all about, like, Oh, your legs are so sexy or something like that. Because that just kind of sounds strange. I mean, even if you do feel that, don't necessarily say it. Because that's kind of a turn off and kind of creepy a little bit. Well, this is just my own experience. Uh, let's see. Okay, another tip would be, um, and this is something that I've experienced a lot. Uh, uh, you want to always be very, very polite. And women in chairs generally are very independent but at the same time we're still women so if you see a woman walking by rolling by and there's a door you're gonna wanna open up the door for her you're gonna wanna say to her uh, you know you're gonna wanna basically just treat her as you treat any other woman here's a don't here's a huge don't and I've experienced this and I do not like this this is, let's say, for instance, you've already been talking to a woman and you guys are going to go out on a first date. Do not at any point at all, unless she asks you, push her. <laughs> this has happened to me numerous times and 
I gotta tell you, I don't like it. And I really haven't met any other women in wheelchairs that really do like it. We can push ourselves. Clearly, we're very capable. So we don't really need a, a guy we're on a date with pushing us. That's very strange. Unless, of course, the woman asks. But again, I can only speak from my own experience, and I never, ever need that. And not for, I mean, this also kind of goes for anyone, really. Like, unless a woman asks you to help her push herself, just don't. Act like these things right here don't even exist. They are not even visible because we do not want you to push us, ever. Okay, what else? Um, let's see. Um... Basically, I think what it really comes down to is just being yourself. Um, I think that in life, whenever you're dating anyone, you really just kind of want to head out with and open with you being yourself. Because if the person doesn't like you, they're not going to like you. And eventually, you're going to pretend to be something, and we're only going to find out anyway. And that even goes for me. Like, of course, you feel pressure of wanting to impress the person. But to me, what I've found to be most important is what is sexy to me is a man who is just himself. And a sense of humor goes a really, really long way. And I don't know about other women, but for me, if you can make me laugh, you kind of already have your foot in the door. So that's just something that I've kind of learned, I guess, over time. Uh, let's see what else. Um, online dating. Um, I have done some online dating and um, it's interesting because some people automatically do not want to date you if you're in a wheelchair. They just completely like they do not understand. They think that because of the fact that you're in a wheelchair, you're looking for a caretaker or a man to take care of your toilet needs or be some kind of a nurse for you or to do anything like that me personally that is just a nightmare um i do not want to talk about that type of stuff i do not need that um uh just for me personally in a way it's almost like insulting like really because i am totally independent and i really don't need a helper but that's just me and what do I know? Oh, let's see what else. Um, the rudeness factor. Um, I've had conversations with men and it's went perfectly well and they're funny and they're witty and then we start talking about things and they start asking you questions about yourself, which is nice because every woman wants to be asked questions. However, this number one question you do not want to ask a woman who is in a wheelchair is can you still have sex I mean to me I'm always kind of baffled when someone asks me that question can you have sex of course you can have sex I love sex personally I mean it's one of my favorite things that I share with somebody that I am in a relationship with or dating or whenever I choose because honestly I mean I'm very pro um, I'm really not that judgmental when it comes to sex I think that everyone has their own likes and dislikes some people like to have sex fast some people like to have sex slowly some people like to wait some people like to some people have fetishes some people everyone has their weird little quirks and to me as long as you're two consenting adults, I don't really see anything wrong with it. If you're not hurting anybody and you just want to get your groove on, then <laughs> by all means, do what you want to do. Um, anyway, yeah. Women do not want to talk about, they don't want to be treated like aliens. Like, it's just weird and gross. And it's a huge turnoff. I mean... The moment that a guy asks me, can I still have sex, is the moment I look at him and I'm kind of like, yeah, I can have sex, but it's not going to be with you, because I'm really just, it's just rude. Hmm, what else? There are many, many other things. I mean, if you want, if you care to ask more in depth, um, for instance, if you need advice on 
on on how to treat like further advice just feel free to ask me I can either make another video or I can answer your questions in the comment box anyway so let's recap okay this is my favorite outfit of this week why because I think it's sexy I think that it shows off my assets um, you want to not be slutty, but you want to show off your feminine curves because a lot of times that can be very stunted if you're always sitting. I mean, think about it. If you're a able-bodied person and you're sitting, automatically, you know, you get a little, a little pudge right here, which is fine because that's our bodies and our bodies are beautiful. But if you're a woman, you might be a little bit like I am, you know, a little bit where, you know, you just kind of want to make the best of your... Of your body and anything that you wear you want to show off what accentuates your body anyway right here something something tight around here and flowy so it gives your body the hourglass and then once again the shoes because everyone knows that's my personal favorite shoes yes these I just love them I mean even just looking at them it, oh. I just can't. I mean, they're just absolutely gorgeous. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, these are for these are good for women in chairs, especially if you're a little bit insecure about, you know, the fact that your legs are thinner on the bottom, which I talked about previously. These are a really good way of keeping warm and also just keeping you feel keeping you feeling comfortable and sexy, which is the most important thing. And lastly, what I wanted to talk about is the dress that I'm wearing right now is very very plain. So as opposed to just wearing the dress that kind of looks plain, what's important is when you're wearing something like this, you want to accessorize. See, little bracelet, little, and you also have the earrings, which are mirrors, and these are new, and I just love them so much. They're my absolute favorite. As soon as I saw them, I was like, ah! <laughs> So anyway, that's my favorite. This is my favorite outfit. These are some dating tips. Uh, if there's anything else that you would like to know, feel free to ask. I will talk about it in another video. Or, uh, yeah, that's it. Signing off, Tiffany. Thank you again for watching my video.